My name is Amy, I'm a clinical specialist with Sabo UK and in this video I'm going to go through the, using Sabo Minimaz to help you practice some everyday tasks and looking at grasp and release uh, with your affected hand. So this is a de-weighting device for um, those of you who've got weakness in shoulder and elbow. Potentially you've got a hand that always tightens up with any effortful tasks. So by taking away the effect of gravity, it means the movement is easier, less effort, and the hand becomes lighter and looser to, to practice those tasks. So I have already clamped this to my tabletop. I've already attached in our optional extra supination pronation attachment, which in essence just means that it allows you that freedom of movement to turn the palm up and the palm down which is all important if we're practicing hand to mouth and manipulating objects. We do have a separate training link that takes you through step by step exactly how to attach that in. So I'm going to move it around. I've got it set up for my left arm. So I'm just going to untighten anti-swivel so it will now move around more freely. I'm going to put my arm into the forearm support. Really make sure that that's nice and tight. Um, I have also put in the elbow stop underneath so that if I do do hand to mouth, I'm not going to have any issues with this forearm support sliding up and down. I'm then going to turn the tension handle just enough for me that it just takes away the effect of gravity. And then my arm is nice and floating. So different tasks that you could practice. It could be starting off with, I've got an apple here, but it could be a tennis ball, smaller object for you to pick up. Is just going in to crane your arm over the top, bringing your arm down over the object, picking it up and moving it from A to B. So coming back again, trying to crane that arm over, picking it up and moving it A to B. If you've got a bit more movement, you could start to pick that up and actually focus on bringing it towards your mouth. So in this case, I've got an apple. Because the mini mass is taking away gravity, it's a little bit easier for me to use my elbow and shoulder movement. My hand isn't clenched in a fist as much. If you need a bit more assistance to do that, you can turn the tension handle. Uh, in a clockwise direction and that will lift your arm a bit further. Just be aware that if you keep going and keeping and going, you'll end up at the point where it'll actually just lift your arm out to the side. So there is a compromise point where it can assist you so much, but then you've got to think about tucking that elbow into the side as you come up to take a bite out of the apple so that you don't end up with a chicken wing effect. Right. For everyday tasks, there's no reason that you couldn't start home baking as I'm in the kitchen. So I've got a jug, which is great practice, a nice large object for me to work on trying to get my hand around and then actually practicing the movement of tipping. So this is where that additional attachment comes in because I'm in essence, I'm turning my palm down and I'm practicing pouring into my mixing bowl. And then I can practice placing that back down again. So the other important factor with the tension handle, if you give yourself too much assistance and really wind your arm up into the air, you'll make it much harder to bring your arm down to the object. So again, you just need to play around with the tension to make sure it's right for you. So this time I've got a smaller object to grasp, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to, to pick up, a bit more challenging. I can then start to bring in both hands and actually use two hands at the same time, which is what we do for most tasks, so a little bit more normal for us. And you could just practice mixing one way and then mixing the other way. Make it a bit more challenging, I could have it a bit further away, make it a little bit easier, I could have it a little bit closer to me. So there's lots of different things that you could practice. Go with what's interesting and relevant to you in your kitchen. Another task that you could use that everybody 
does. So whether it's a tablet or mobile or a keyboard, by de-weighting the arm, I'm not having to use a lot of effort to lift my arm up, hover my finger over the keyboard, and then actually practice, even if it's just one finger touching, is actually just pressing and typing out on my keyboard. If you want to move that up a level, if I actually turn the tension handle and give myself, lift my arm up, I've then got to work quite hard to bring my finger down. So if I want to challenge my shoulder a bit more, this is almost like adding a weight to your gym programme. Because then when I'm having to work against that resistance to keep my arm down, it's really giving my shoulder a bit of a workout as I type. Be creative is the uh, tip, main tip with the Minimaz. Go with what's useful and important for you. But this could be incorporated into any task um, that you want to have a go with. Thank you.